Hey, what's up, YouTube and wrestling fans? Today we have 2021 WWE Tops Chrome. Um, was able to pick it up yesterday at Target. They had around eight blasters. I grabbed two for myself, and I was able to open one of them off camera, and the second one I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Um, for this year, one of the exclusives is the Feats of Strength. So you can see on the top right there that um, you do have a chance to pull an autograph out of the blasters, which is great. Last year, they did not have that. I think they had the like that little special parallel pack. They had like the three extra cards in it. Um, look at some of the odds on the side. This is base cards, um, parallels, 1 out of 34 for Aqua. Green is 1 out of 52. Gold is 1 out of 102. Um, going down to the autographs, we have great feats of strength autograph um, variation, 1 out of 1,122. And then the parallels, orange, 1,000 out of 2,000, or 1 out of 2,000, blue, 1 out of 5,000, and it just goes up from there. I don't really know if that's the actual odds if they're accurate um and if other hobbies like sports is near the same but that sounds extremely high you are saying I have to open 5,000 packs to pull an autograph that sound you know it's impossible um I do know the hobby boxes do have like two per which is obviously a benefit of ordering one of them um I got one on the way so I might be ripping that on camera as well but yeah let's get into it and as you said, wrestling fans know, um, tonight we have the Super Smackdown. It's a two and a half hour show that's going head to head against um, AEW, which is kind of neat. Um, Smackdown being live still has that benefit in AEW being recorded. I was able to attend the one in Rochester, New York, about like two or three weeks ago. Had a blast. The fans were awesome. Um, just amazing. As you can tell on the side, um, seven packs, four cards per, which I do like after opening like a ton of Pokemon in my day. Having 10 cards per pack is just way too much. It's a lot of bulk, um, so four cards feels perfect. And if you haven't ripped celebrations, it's fun, it's great. And that's only four packs, so I think that's uh, the way to go. All right, here we go, let's get into it. Pack number one. Now, if you didn't know, each pack has one refractor in it, so you're going to have, like, three parallels, maybe an extra hit, um, a third one, and then your third slot, and then the last one's a refractor. Okay. Pack number one, we have Xavier. Sorry, I was trying to adjust the camera just a little bit here. Let me put this down so I can fix that. Mufasa Ali. Again, the art is just amazing, and I do apologize for the light there. I'll try to keep it out of the film. Ooh, Five Timers Club. I did not get this insert out of my last box. That's a refractor, too. Beautiful. The Miz. Okay, now I wish that was numbered. That would get me, get me real excited. And for the refractor afterwards, Velveteen Dream. I know a lot of you guys think about him, obviously. I don't think he's in the company anymore. Or maybe he is. Not quite sure. It's been a little bit. I don't watch 30 as much as I used to. Um... I still keep up with it on a weekly basis. Let's take one more look at that Five Timers Club. This is the other one of the inserts. They have this one, um, Feats of Strength, and then In Your House, which is very cool. I don't want to spoil that one. I'm assuming those are almost one per pack. So let's see, let's see if we can pull it. Very cool. Okay, pack number two. I always do my best to uh, not touch the chrome on top of the card. If I want to send these in for grading or just in general, I don't want my fingerprints on them. Um, so I'll always pull on top. Uh, Lince D Dorado. Not really familiar with him. King Corbin. Not a big Corbin fan. 
Um, I know he gets a lot of heat, but I don't think he's that entertaining. He seems kind of childish, a lot of the his skits. Card number three, Bobby Lashley. Lashley. Another one, just not a huge fan for. I don't know. He's on TV all day long. It doesn't do anything for me. And the Refractor. Great feats of strength. Okay, there's our first one. I think you can pull two, maybe three out of a blaster. Braun uh, Strowman. There's another one who's like actually not in, who's not a part of WWE anymore. So this is the fourth card, I believe. I counted wrong. I'm not sure if I have a fifth one. Let's see what we have here. Ruby Riot. All right. Again, she's gone. AEW. Is it Soho? I believe that's her new, new name. I liked her promo she did on AEW. Um, great, like, first day debut. It was awesome. And Andrade. Liv Morgan. Let's go. She's gorgeous. I think they... I don't know if I'm a big fan of her new gimmick. I don't know. They don't seem like they're really doing much with her. But, um, gorgeous nonetheless. Lynn Snorado. Again, not, not too familiar with him. That's, uh, this might be the variation, because obviously we just pulled him in the last pack. I'll take a look on the back. And Samoa Joe, another one who just hasn't really been utilized. There's the back of the carrot and get a chance to really show those off. This one sh should say IP on it, indicating, or IV. Yeah, right on top there, indicating it is an uh, image variation. So pretty nice. I don't see any like print lines on it quite yet. Centering, not too bad. A little whitening on the side from the cut. Okay, there's a Samoa Joe card right over here. Okay. Pack number four. Seth Rollins. Don't know if this is his base card or not. Let's take a look. Yes, it is. Bronson Reed. Not too familiar with him. Kyle O'Reilly. NXT, I'm assuming. Naomi. And that's a refractor. Amazing. Again, you get one per pack. Which is really great. Pack number five. I'm trying to open them up without doing any damage to the cards. Santos Escobar. I'm not familiar with him either. Velveteen Dream again. Ooh, is that a green card? I hope so, man. That, that'll be a nice pull. Ooh, let me drop that one. Five Timers Club. Um, Our Truth. Is that numbered? Wow, what a nice pull. 26 out of 99. Nice. Our Truth is awesome. Great comedian. Um, he's been running that 24 7 belt for quite a while now. I'm not even sure if he has it. He's dropped it and picked it up how many times now? Very cool. That, that's that's a nice hit. I'm actually kind of mad I didn't get more of these blasters now. <laughs> that's okay. I'll, I'll leave a couple for somebody else. And Refractor, Kofi Kingston. Is there another one behind there? Nope. I'll take, the look, take a look at the back of that in a second. Oh, that's beautiful. It's a little thicker, too. I believe so. When Mick Foley announced the creation of WWE 24-7 Championship, a title had to be defended within 24 hours, seven days a week. No matter the champion's location, he couldn't have imagined 
<clears throat> he couldn't have imagined our truth would hold the title more than 40 times. Our truth is obsessed with holding the title, entering the five timers club more than eight times over. So if you aren't aware, um, this insert five timers club is exactly what it sounds like. It's any person who's been in, um, who's won the championship at least uh, five times. So I think the checklist has about maybe eight to 12 wrestlers. So a green hit is pretty nice. I do hope I have uh, another in the house. Um, very cool looking. Okay, card number one, Ruby Riot. Another Samoa Joe. Naomi. I got extras in here. I'm confused. I'm pretty sure it's only four per pack. Ruby, Naomi, that's three. This is four. Great straight, great strength. You know what? Maybe the insert counts as a, an extra one, I guess. That's probably what it is. Charlie Caruso. Caruso? Refractor. She has a print line going right down the center. Don't know if you can see it. Yep, right there on top of her head. That's terrible when you get that. Okay, final pack. Hopefully, ooh, it feels thick too. Oh, okay, there's no die cut in here. All right, that's okay. Kofi Kingston. But there's something else in the back. Man, it looks cool. Charlie. Akira. Tazwa? I'm sorry, I can't read too well. <laughs> Here we go. This is a nice... Is this an orange card? I don't know what this is. Autograph? Riddle, orange. Is this number two? Wow. 16 out of 25, Riddle. I didn't think I was going to get so, so many numbered cards already. Jeez. Oh, and it's damaged. Uh, maybe just a spec. Never mind. I thought it was a dot. I get dent. Very cool. So no autographs, but I did get uh, the orange riddle, 16 out of 25. And then our truth The green, 5 out of 99. All right. Um, I think that's a successful blaster for 20 bucks. I think you can easily make that back on those two cards alone. Nonetheless, I'll probably probably end up grading them as long as there's no damage to them. And, um, yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. Pretty happy with it. I do have a hobby box coming. It was shipped last night. Um, hopefully it's here in a couple days. And I'm probably going to rip that on camera too and upload it. And we'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the show tonight. And catch you on the next one.